welcome back, Fit Fam. So today I'm gonna to have an upper body workout, all right? So it's just gonna be an upper body burnout. We're really gonna target your biceps, your triceps, your chest, your back, and your shoulders. All right, so we're just gonna hit the whole upper body. I absolutely love this workout because I've combined a lot of combo exercises so we can really max out with the 15 minutes that we have today, all right? So all you're gonna to need to first to start off is a set of dumbbells, light to medium weight. Yes, you will need two dumbbells, all right? So first, we're going to have a triple dead row. So on that hip hinge, we're gonna hip hinge forward from here. We're gonna dead row three times. So come through three, two, one, and then stand up, all right? So today, we got three rounds. It's gonna be 40 seconds on and 10 seconds to switch, all right? Just kind of like what we normally do. So to go ahead and get started, we're gonna start out with that triple dead row, but watch out for those little 10 second rest periods because I'm gonna be demoing what's coming up next so y'all know what's going on, all right? So first, let's get set up. Nice strong set position. Make sure feet right underneath of the hips from here. We're gonna have our triple dead row. So you're gonna come down, we're gonna go three, two, one, and rise, and then three, two, one, and rise, all right? So just keep on rowing. Make sure that you're really squeezing your back together as you row and as you stand. Notice how I pull my arms to the outside of my thighs. I love using dumbbells instead of a barbell for rows like this because you can really work to a more full range of motion through your arms, which is lovely and functional. You got it. All right, up next, take it down to the floor. We're gonna have a pullover with a fly, all right? So from here, hips are high, pulling over, dumbbells together. Fly, pulling over, and fly. You got it. Abs are braced in super tight. I love this. I love that we get the fly in and the pullover. We're really hitting every single part of our chest on this exercise. All right, from here, let's take it up. So we're going to have a bicep triple pulse curl, all right? So we're gonna come up, three, two, one, drop down beside us, all right? So three, two, one, drop, curl, three, two, one. Just little baby pulses. So we're pumping that blood into our biceps. Notice I'm still doing that same full range of motion here, all the way, twisting at the top. Like I have a straight bar in front of me, neutral grip beside me. Straight bar in front, neutral grip beside, right? That's important. Full range of motion all the way through the arms. After we hit our biceps, we're gonna go into our tricep kickbacks, all right? All right, hip hinge forward. Two options, modify, single arm. More advanced, both at the same time, all right? You choose and get started, you got it. And then if this starts to get tiring, remember you can always switch, single, boom, boom. Or double up, whatever works for you. Every day is different. Because coming up, we're going to combine buys and tries together, all right? Almost. Bring it up. So as we're moving through, you're gonna have a bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep extension, release down. Curl, press, tricep extension, you got it. Curl, press, tricep extension.
Got this. So you can touch the dumbbells together at the top, then move through your tricep extension, but for my elbows personally, I like to keep my hands separated at a more neutral grip instead of keeping it so narrow because it just feels better for me. So whatever works for you. All right, from here, we have our mac raise. All right, this is one of my favorite exercises. So we're gonna pull back a bow and arrow, lateral raise, pull back on the other side, lateral raise, let's go. So, mac, lateral, mac, and lateral. So, front and rear, middle, front and rear delts, medial delts. All right, this is such a powerful move for your shoulders, and I already feel it burning. And I'm only using fives. Yes. Lateral, mac raise, lateral. Alternate out that mac raise, you got it. Woo! If you don't feel this, you're crazy. Remember, pull back that bone air, boom. Make it look powerful. All right, we are back to our triple dead row. All right, round two, remember, we only have three rounds. Let's go. We're gonna come down three, two, one, and rise. Three, two, one, and rise. Yes, loving these combo exercises, and I'm sure you're starting to feel that fatigue starting to set in. All right, and then take it down to the floor, pull over flat, all right? This one, I do want your dumbbells to touch though as you're going through. So, hips high, arms straight, pull it over, fly it out. Pull it over, fly it out, you got it. So even though we're working our upper body, still keep your core nice and strong. From here, bring it up. We're going to move into that triple pulse bicep curl. All right, so three pulses three, two, one, drop. All right, let's go. Soft knee bend, staying stable as you're moving through these cur curls. <laughs> curls, you don't want to be rocking your weight around and wiggling and letting your weight take you. Control it. The more you can control that momentum, the more you can control that weight, the better results you're gonna have. That's all there is to it. All right, from here, we're gonna go into our tricep kickbacks. All right, so hinge forward, elbows back, tuck it in nice and tight. You got 90, 180. All right, let's go. Remember, you can always hold straight out if you want to. Bring it up. Biceps and tricep combo with a little bit of shoulders. <sighs> Curl, press, tricep extension. So I like to keep my hands slightly separated at the top here, or I should say neutral, because it just feels better for me. If you want your dumbbells to touch at the top for you to move through because you feel more stable, that's cool. Whatever works.
We're almost there. Keep it up. Hopefully you're starting to feel this burn a little bit. All right, from here, we are back into that mac raise, my favorite. So think about it, pull it back with a bow and arrow, lateral raise, bow and arrow, lateral raise, and alternate out each round. You got it. Whew, love it. Feels so good. Last round, make it count. From here, we have our pullover fly. Take it down to your back. All right. Hips up or down, whatever works. And let's go. You got it. Bring it up, back into our biceps, all right? So triple pulse. Woo. Let's go. Yes. Chest is up. Tricep kickbacks. Remember, doubles or singles, up to you. Elbows are back. Tuck it in nice and tight. Squeeze your armpits in. Neutral spine here. Straight line from crown of head down to the tailbone. Micro bend in those knees. Keep it soft. sure that our arms look good and our sundresses or for you men out there tank tops <laughs> all right 
this is it. Macaroni is my favorite. I saved the best for last. All right. Let's go. Macaroni's lateral mac and lateral. All right. Look how I'm pulling back. Lateral raise. Pull it back. Maybe even a little twist to the upper body. Why not? It's the last thing we got to do. Make it count. And rest. All right, go ahead, set those weights off to the side. From here, we're gonna go ahead and stretch out, all right? So take one arm across. And then the other. Hands locked behind the back. Chin towards chest. Maybe a few circles through the shoulders here. Take it forward. All right. Awesome job, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this awesome upper body burnout. Yes, so glad to do this. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you would like more fitness and nutrition tips on a daily basis, don't forget to check out my Instagram at my trainer Alex, all right? So, well, <laughs> hope to see you guys back here soon. See you later, Fit Fam.